grab. Like, that's realistically not going to happen again. But that's a round that you want to see more. It isn't just like the Munchkin show. Like, every yeah, player art. on that team had a moment to bring that through. And Nesp on the breach as well. Şeyler yapmak gerekmiyor mu arkadaşlar? Util was nice in the post plan. Yani bir... İlgi alaka yeni unutuldu ama... Gerçekten can sıkmaya başladı ya. Garip. Hani o kadar... Haber oldu. O kadar ülkede ülke karıştı lan. Her yerde haber oldu amına koyayım. Para para aklanıyor vesaire diye. Abi hiç ya. Lan bütün bilgilerimiz, gelirlerimiz ifşa oldu. Eklendi. Ya o konuda bile hiçbir şey ya. Hala devam edenler var O da onda inanılmaz gerçekten. Baya hala, hala devam ediyorlar. Hayır devam edenler ayrı bir orospu çocuklu o ayrı zaten de. Hala yayın açanlar var bir de yani. Ve yaptım ya. Yaptım yani böyle. Göğsünü gere gere söylüyorlar. Yaptım abi. Hatta çete çet falan küfür ediyor. Yaptım ama ne kendisine falan yapanlar var. <gülüyor> The fact that one player is able to just break yeah. apart two like that. Oh, Crazy Raccoon could have made something happen, but it was a crazy fight in mid. Yeah, I don't think there's too many rounds you're going to spot like that with multiple lockdowns looking to try and clear out B and then... Unutuluyor abi, unutuluyor. Bu da unutulur. İnsanlar gene... Eski gibi izlemeye devam ederler onları ya. A bit of a surprise coming through from Sadak. Five to one though, and because they only have one player surviving in the last round, Türkiye'de neler unutuldu oğlum? Prim oldu ya adamlara gerçekten PR oldu ya böyle bir şey yok ya. Abi Twitch'in işte artık şey yapması lazım, bir cezai bir işlem uygulaması lazım yani. Ya itiraf edenler oldu ya yayınlarda. Yani kitle yapabileceği her şeyi yaptı yani kitle. Twitter'lar açıldı, bir şeyler oldu. Hashtagler TT oldu. Abi her yerden, her yerden mail attık. Abi geçen bu arada Twitch'te bir şey rastladım yine. Artık insanlar bir de şey yapmaya başladı. Yayın açıyorlar. Eski yayın tekrarlarını sanki yayınlaymış gibi koyuyorlar. Ya da dizi açıyorlar YouTube'dan. Kulo dönüyor. E, onu da sırf şeyden yapıyorlar. Hani saatini doldural doldursun, e, parasını alsın diye yayın saatini doldur. Ya biz burada salak salaz galiba ya gerçekten salaz yani insanlar bu değil mi? Abi? Bu aynı şey geliyor bana. Bir farkı yok gibi geliyor bana yani. Var mı bir farkı? Yani bu ha hani diyorlar ya botlar reklam izliyor, onlardan bit geliyor, biti at, at, aldık işte. Veya çalın tıkayadı kartıyla bit alıyorsun. Ya haksız kazanç. O da haksız kazanç. Bu da haksız kazanç. Ne farkı var? Bildiğin emek hırsızlığı bu. Bu da dolandırıcılık. Bilmiyorum ya. Ben çok git olmaya başladım ya. Ben geçen ay mesela 30 saat yayın yaptım abi. 30 saat sadece. Ben bilmiyor muydum amına koyayım? Açardım Amerika'ya giderken yayını. Gelirdim kapatırdım yayın saatimi de doldururdum. Ben mesela 30 saat yayın yaptığım için çok daha düşük 
Para olacağım yani. A little bit worried for Sassy hiding in this corner. He's been stunned up and nobody's checked it. And the second this goes down, it could be the end for Munchkin with a last second turn. A big round from him individually. Three kills coming up. And o F R Z. Well, the last clutch was unlikely. Let's see what he can do here. You never, know. you just never really know with these two teams. To be fair, it's not expected. O F R Z just. Crazy Raccoon just not showing up anything. They know they're just keeping this money in order is good. It's not a flawless because Medusa was caught out on that lurk from FRZ of all players as well. The wrap round is slowly coming in. Munchkin was the one that opened the site and now he's the one at the back as well to try and wrap around, but it's not really going to have that impact. Fisker is there to clear it off off the back of some nice util. And yet again, like Crazy Raccoon, like you said, the ideas are good. The execution is iffy in places. Bir 14 yılından beri seni takip ediyorum. Bu olayların buraya gelmesi pek zorunlu bir iştir. Hiç hiçbir zaman olumlu bir adım atmadı. Ne kanalları yasakladı, e, yasaklandı, karmaban yedi, ne bir şey. Maalesef abi. Maalesef yani dört gözle bekliyorum bir hamle yapmasını, bir aksiyon almasını tüm için hala. Grab well as well, so not going to get anything done, and this space goes for free almost to the side of Crazy Raccoon. Good amount of utility used from Addy as well. Just to grab, like you mentioned, two stars. Elif bir müziğin hiç de alakası yok ya Felix'te. O konuda vuram vuramam yani Twitch'e. It's a bit more of a hold off as well. GTN with the op. Direkt o müzik şirketleriyle alakalı bir şey. Ama onların da zaman aşımı yapmaları var mı abi? Incross düşünüyoruz abi. They don't know he's here. Oh, not again. He manages to just get the timing so right, but it is the trades this time from Crazy Raccoon that work out. A long flank coming through, and GTM likely just going to want to try and bring this operator through into the next round. A much better execution, and it does lead back to what was said on the desk. These executions from Crazy Raccoon pretty decent. It's where they have to adapt on the fly where things go a little bit wrong. But this was almost a picture perfect round from them. They can just face up against these Vikings players on the site, especially like the team. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Because he knew that he was going to back out. Doktor Disrespect'in bir de son yayını falan çok ilginçti. Kaç yıl oldu hala bir şey duyamadım ya. Ya Ramos ne yapmış bilmiyorum ama. Towards the end, from round six to twelve, start to come back into it a little bit. Take the malls and beam shot. You're looking at this as well, like Team Secret has sat in their hotel, in their sort of room, just watching this game. I'm dreaming, boy. Knowing that it's likely they might end up against one of these two teams. Like, I'd say they're likely to lose against Gambit. You never really know, but a team that wasn't at Masters Berlin, unfortunately, for reasons out of their control, going up against the team that ended up winning it. Yeah. Expectations are on Gambit to perform in that matchup. But yeah, that second spot in the group, it's these two teams are sure. secret. Well, that, that's the other thing as well, though, is that like um, we saw again from the press conference from the guys at Secret, they were saying that first few days, a lot of teams did, didn't even seem like there was a point in screaming them. They were maybe a little bit cocky, played them a few times, and then it was everybody else requesting them to actually play some matches. And I think we've had some positive sort of, like, I think it was Shazam as well, saying that he was pleasantly surprised when playing against the Vikings. And I think that's something that was very common at the previous event, <laughs> just being more of the local opposition for Vikings that they struggled against, which yeah, yeah. maybe that's a good sign for them coming into this tournament now that they've made it here. And as said, like, th this is similar to what we had last time with Envy's group. There's a, a clear favorite, but then the other spot is wide open. We don't know who to expect to get through, but Vikings still looking good for now. But again, they've they've sort of slowed off a bit. I also think that Crazy Raccoon is starting to realize that okay, these mid fights, these battles further forward have not been working out so well. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Let's finish them. In towards these early A fights, and well, the same. Instagram. We saw how much control was available to Vikings. 
This time, no, they were using the same utility to grab, used very early from Addy over on C long. Well, but they finally to push. Yeah. This is the area that Medusa struggled with the most, just holding on for A lobby to see if anything else coming in. You have that operator sort of sat there from GTN watching sewers. So I don't think Crazy Raccoon at this point realized that they are running into a, a pretty scary stack of utility and stall when you're looking at a breach, a kill draw, and an Astra. But it's high line from A. B is just has utility on it, they can play retake if they need. These early rounds were crazy. They feel like boxed into mid a little bit. Like they can't really spread out. Vikings have a good idea on where these attackers are roughly going to be. There. They can just wait out time. They're so <coughs> to wait out. This is what worries me. These are the calls that sometimes cause some issues again. We're going to see much as utility though. Sudakas is stuck in the corner of Visca. He's just going to wipe them both out. What? They've set this man up and he has succeeded. The utility that is coming over the last few rounds from Crazy Raccoon. What's the middle on? And now Medusa is just waiting. That knife in the Ooh. back. Sure, FRZ is going to find a kill, but at this stage, I'm, I'm looking at this round again, Ryan, and say it's already over. Uh. Seems like it feels that way for Vikings as well. Like they're slow. They will relax. They will have platform yeah, yeah, to Ah, this. Yeah, Johnny, platform to come. Kolay bir şey değil. Hatta hiç kolay bir şey değil. Server maliyetleri, serverların kalitesi, stabilizasyonu vesaire zor yani. Çok denendi. Ama yok. A team that has been consistently strong and relatively dominant, I'd say, in the Japanese region, which is FBA WhatsApp messages are not coming. Okay, I'm sorry. Ne? Anlamadım. FBA WhatsApp messages.